Bo and I are sitting here in the backyard. My daughter Julie's on the other side of this camera where she feels most comfortable. And I wanted to chat with you. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen. Thank you for sharing and commenting. It really means a lot to me. Recently, I had a conversation about the world and everything that is going on in the world. Um, those are not my favorite conversations because I honestly don't know what to say except to listen and to nod and to to agree because yes there's a lot going on in this world and this person was talking about it in such a way where it felt like everything was stacking on top of each other and as we were talking and as I was listening I got the sense that the experience they were having was I liken it to a game of Jenga like a crazy game of Jenga everything gets stacked one thing on top of the other everything is really really challenging and hard and at any moment it could just come undone and topple and fall and crush all over everything and that felt like yeah yeah yes it could and I suppose I suppose that's one way of thinking about it but then I remembered what I know what I've experienced and what I read about in books in history books in 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 memoirs uh, experiences and stories that other people told and are telling about challenges that challenges aren't necessarily stacking on top of us that we are not going to be crushed by all this that there is a way through all of this which then reminded me of something that we get to do this weekend as a team, we have the opportunity to rent a small beach house and be there, just us, and, and spend some time together. And I'm really grateful for that. Why? Because we're going to be at the beach, which is one of my very favorite places to be because it makes me feel small. It puts things in perspective. It allows me to feel like I am just one tiny part of a much larger experience and a much larger story being told. And it also slightly terrifies me. The ocean is a very scary place to me. But then I'm also remembering that the ocean, because it's water, reminds me of getting through things. Every single thing that moves in the ocean, moves on the ocean, is moving through this thing that I think is really, really scary. It has a space that you can start from and get to. And I like to think of challenges in that way. That they're scary, they are unruly, they are unpredictable, you could get hurt and you, you could even just drown in it. So yes, it could be devastating, but there's also a way through. And that is a hopeful place to be. Like allowing yourself to think of everything that's going on and that's all around you as something that you can get through. That there is a better way that you have the skills and the abilities. The good news is that other people do it with you. And so you're not alone in this. Other people have done it. And that's what I love about reading other people's stories and perspective. They've done this. And so we can too. As you're thinking of everything that's going on and all around you, and I know you're watching this and you may be having personal things going on and professional things going on and financial things going on and then the world is going on try to think about all of it as you moving through it not as it's stacking on top of you i want you to feel hopeful and i want you to feel 
empowered and I want you to feel aligned and not alone, right? That you would know that all of these things, you do not have to address them all at once and they are not all on top of you. They may be in your life a reality and I get that and I get that getting through things isn't just some sort of a sing-songy attitude but I know that there is a way for you to address each one of these things and move through them rather than be crushed by them. So this weekend when I am at the ocean I'll be sure to post photos and I'm sure to share stories with you but it's really about knowing and remembering that you and I and us and everyone will make it through and that there is a way to deal with our challenges and our circumstances in such a way that is dignified, um, kind to yourself and to others and aligned with who you are. So that is my hope for you. Thank you for being a little bit more casual with me. Um, these are the sort of things I think about when I have just time to myself. So thanks for indulging me.